In this video, we will look at absolute value inequalities, where we must first isolate the absolute value. But that is to say, before we can set up our compound inequality, we must first isolate the absolute value. Beware, as we do this, with absolute value, we cannot distribute or combine unlike terms. We cannot, and by unlike terms, I mean if one term has an absolute value and one term does not, they cannot be combined. For example, in this problem, before we can set up our tripartite inequality, or before we can set up our OR inequality, we must first isolate the absolute value. What we cannot do is distribute the 7 through the absolute value. We also cannot combine the 2 and negative 7, because the 7 is attached to an absolute value. The 2 is not. So we begin isolating, just like solving any equation, by subtracting the 2 from both sides. This gives us negative 7 times the absolute value of 3x plus 4 is less than negative 21. Now, by dividing both sides by negative 7, because we have negative 7 times the absolute value, we can get rid of the negative 7. Leaving the absolute value of 3x plus 4, notice we've divided by a negative, so we flip the symbol, is greater than 3. Greater tells us we must set up an OR inequality. We take the inside, 3x plus 4, and make it less than the negative 3, or the 3x plus 4 must be greater than the positive 3. And now we can solve these compound inequalities. First, we subtract 4 from both sides, and 3x is less than negative 7 divide by 3, and x is less than negative 7 thirds. Or, solving the other equation, we subtract 4, and we get 3x is greater than negative 1, and then we divide both sides by 3 to get x is greater than negative 1 third. Again, we can put this on our number line, knowing that the OR inequality that comes from absolute value is going to go outside of our two points. From negative 7 thirds, we need to go down. From negative 1 third, we need to go up. And this becomes our graph. We can represent this in interval notation, going down to negative infinity, up to negative 7 thirds curve bracket, because it's just greater than or in less than, union, to show the second part, picking up again at negative one-third, up to infinity. Let's try one more example, where we must first isolate the absolute value before we set up the compound inequality. Here, we subtract 5 from both sides to get 2 times the absolute value of 4x minus 1, is less than or equal to 12. Again, to clear the 2, we must divide both sides by 2 to get the absolute value of 4x minus 1 is less than or equal to 6. Because the absolute value is less than or equal to, we will set up a tripartite inequality, putting the 4x minus 1 between negative 6 and positive 6. Adding 1 to all three parts, gives us negative 5 is less than or equal to 4x, which is less than or equal to 7. Dividing all three parts by 4 gives us negative 5 fourths is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 7 fourths. The tripartite inequality puts the values between the negative 5 fourths and the positive 7 fourths. Because this inequality is or equal to, we will use closed dots at each point, and then connect the dots. In interval notation, with square brackets to show the OR equal to, negative 5 fourths, comma, 7 fourths. Again, with a square bracket. Isolate the absolute, then solve.